with this, Andrew. How do you get into something like this? How do you pick up an axe and get into a competition as opposed to, I just got to go out and do some chores? Well, pretty much every single uh, pro starts out at collegiate. So if you get to use bar of school's axe when you're starting out, it's a lot better than buying your own and breaking it. I was going to say, $500. Yeah. We're getting up there. What's like the high-end Mercedes-Benz of axes, and how much is that? Well, it's pretty much around 600 bucks. Okay. the max. But normally you buy it, and then you get ground. So they're anywhere from 100 to $200 to get ground. So how do you want to see the sport grow? We, I would love to see it as a sport, even a club sport, just to get more funding and stuff. Cause we're pretty, when we go to competitions, right, we have good equipment, but there's top of the line that Paul Smith and all the other school that get some decent money. How often do you train to do something like this? So I, I have an internship right now at 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then I get out of there and I either go for runs, uh, go and lift or chop or do some of both. Uh, take me through the different events you're going to be doing in, in Wisconsin. All right, so this is vertical chop. This would be like you're found a tree. Over here, which I've been doing next, this is single buck. This is, I believe, like a six foot two uh, vinegar saw. It's made over in Rochester. It costs around anywhere from 2000 to 2500 for oh. one of these. Um, you can get upwards of four or five grand to get a really nice single buck saw. So here you'll take the saw. You'll go down, you'll grab your saw. You'll make one down cut so you get through. And then you come up and you do an up cut. And as soon as you break through and that cookie drops, that's your time. Your uh, underhand chop, the block goes on this. You're standing on it between your legs. And so you start on one, you lift your axe up, you come down, you hit, and then you go to your other side and turn your feet. And once you get through, you drive through the block and meet your other cuts and break through it. When you're out there doing your thing, I mean, this, this is dangerous. Yeah. You've got a very sharp object. Yeah. This, so what's the mind frame? This is a cut here? last year I got. I shattered my toe and got 14 stitches. Um, and I stitched up the shoe because why waste more than one pair of shoes? Um, but yeah, so it's it's pretty dangerous. It still hurts when it gets cold out. It's shattered. I was supposed to be in a boot for a while, but I had the competition the next week, so I put shoes on and went for it. God bless you. <laughs>